Baseball and Bloomers is an American film that was released in 1911. It's a lost film, and it was released by Thanhauser Company. Now, the interesting thing about this film is, even though it's lost, there's a lot about it that still survives. So <laughs> now I had to do some extra footwork and research for this film. <laughs> I, d I didn't think I had to do that, but I did. <laughs> now, the plot of this film has to do with a uh, seminary school, so, it, so a girls' school. And um, when it comes to girls' schools, they had uh, gymnasiums and everything. Uh, I don't know that girls' schools even exist now. But anyway, so these uh, young athletes – while they did like basketball and tennis and and all that stuff, and uh, there were even wrestlers in those schools, um, and fencing, and <laughs> they decided they wanted to do a baseball club, and thinking that they were good enough, they decided to challenge another college, which was a boys' college. <laughs> And the uh, the challenge was received, and they said yes, but the boys were first upset. Then they decided, oh, you know what? Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. But as the movie progressed, the girls started to lose confidence in themselves. And as it turns out that the president had these two sons and or uh, it was a son and and his friend so jim and jack they come and they decided they were going to help the two girls so they dressed as girls and played the game <laughs> i'm so sad every time i am so sad that these movies are gone because this just sounds like fun to watch <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it, it says, uh, uh, looked for a laughable victory and after inning, after inning. And even in the reception, people loved this this movie. Absolutely loved it. Uh, one person said, Thanahauser producers have again placed a picture of originality on the market in Baseball and Bloomers. It is a farce, pure and simple, but it offers many laughable situations. The acting is generally good, but in a few instances, scenes are overacted. Well, <laughs> even today, yes. Now, it's interesting that he says that this particular person says that it's a farce, because even in 1911, there were uh, baseball teams. There was the Boston uh, Bloomer Girls. So there were, I mean, if you think that, because I love A League of Their Own, and and so there was that, the, the women were playing baseball during the war, but there were women's baseball teams during the Edwardian era. So, but I'm guessing because they played each other <laughs> and, and not played the boys, I guess that's where he's yeah and um so now the interesting thing about the writer of this is that they don't really know who wrote this uh they think that it was probably uh lloyd uh lonergan who is also uh, a worker for the new york evening world but they also believe that it could be a film director named uh, Barry O'Neill or Lucius J. Henderson. So there are three different names, but the top of the list is uh, Lloyd Lonergan because he was uh, writing scripts for Thanhauser at the same time that he was uh, working for the newspaper. And um, so... Aside from the the directors, uh, Barry or Lucius, and they've also uh, named a bunch of other names that it could be. 
And and so I will, of course, put all of this information in the description box. But the, the top three that it could be that wrote this is, is if I were to go out on a limb because of uh, looking at different Thanhauser, I think that it was uh, Lloyd Lonergren. You know, just because of the synopsis of this story. And this starred William uh, Garwood, and he was well known during the silent era, as well as the debut for uh, Marguerite Snow. Now, she did a lot of stage productions and uh, silent film. I don't think that she... Uh, um, moved into sound, uh, transitioned into sound anyway, but uh, Marguerite Snow was uh, very successful in stage and silent film, especially in the Thanhauser Company. So, but this was her debut. Now, interestingly enough, this was an accident. <laughs> she was with a friend and Edwin Thanhauser said, would you like to help us with this? And <laughs> she says, I, 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 I guess. <laughs> and, and and that's how she ended up <laughs> with an acting career. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm, I'm very sad that this one is lost because reading the synopsis, it sounds like a lot of fun. It it did well at the time that it was released and everything, but it's Baseball and Bloomers. It was released in 1911 by the Thanhauser Company.